I think you skipped this gentleman. This is Mr. Mort Mortier. State your name. Kyle Mortier. 26. 26. 26 and 27. He has two on the page. Kyle Stephen Mortier, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, grand theft. Clinton Russell, don't call, don't visit, don't have anything to do with Clinton Russell. You understand that? Sure. You understand that? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Take a look at your record, sir. No return any aggravated assault. That's what you charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'll tell you exactly what happened in a minute. Right. Tell you exactly what they said you did, sir. Well, I know what I did. Don't, don't you know what you did, but I'm telling you what they said you did. Said Mortier entered the Walmart at Clear Lake Road. Don't go back to the Walmart. You understand that? Yes, sir. Went to the tool aisle, took a pair of wire cutters, then selected LG TV. Using the wire cutters, he cut and destroyed the anti theft device. Put the television in his vehicle who was in the parking lot, noticed what he was doing and confronted him. Did not stop and got into the vehicle with a television. Wire cars made a U-turn and drove directly to hit Mr. Russell. That's the part I'm... Sir, don't, don't respond. Mm, they said you try to hurt the witness, sir. They might charge you no know, witness tampering. I, I most certainly didn't try and hurt him. Sir, no. uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. $10,000 cash assurity. Grand theft, 2000 remain unchanged. Public defender appointed resisting arrest without violence, $1,000 cash assurity. Do not return, you understand that? Yes, sir. Complete stay away. Rigaldo, Lauren, Rachel, Rigaldo, that's you? No, sir. What's your name? Parker, yeah. This is Michael Parker. Michael Parker. Parker. Number 32. How come I keep missing them here, Mr. Kennedy? Probably because there's more than one Parker on the docket. We had a lot of Parkers on the dock. What's your name? Michael Parker. Michael Jamal Parker. You got a violation of probation, sir? The judge said you had no bond. But, um... I had told her why I couldn't make it to the little step program, and mm. she told me she wasn't going to violate me. Then 17 years later, I got the violation, and mm -hmm. I today. They have two programs, little step and big step. You can't make it to the little step? They had gave me the wrong address, and when I went, nobody was there. And I mm. told her on June 1st, and she told me she wasn't going to violate me. She I see. Well, the point is she did. When you come before the judge, explain to them, okay? Yes, sir. No bond remains unchanged. We have several Parkers. They got Willie Parker, Ray Ho. We took care of. <clears throat> Next man, I got Re Regalado, Lorraine Rachel Regalado. Which city you live in, madam? Beach. National Harp and Music Services, Carriage Gate Drive, West Melbourne. Stay away from that place. You understand that? Complete stay away. Let's take a look at your record. I don't seem to have anything in her. That's a VOP, Judge. That's a violation of probation. Okay, we got a violation of probation, madam, and they got you on no bond. You understand that? Can I request a bond? Yes, yeah, definitely. Let's hear you. I'm listening to you. I, uh, I have a job where people's payroll depends on me. I'm also in the middle of a tax audit with this company. They really need me. I'm their sole bookkeeper. Uh, so you are in the middle of a tax audit? With my co the company we're in, they need me there. Uh, I also do the payroll, and they depend on me. All right. Anything else? How long you live in Brevard County? 
Which company you work for? Now, um, Mueller Landscaping. And what do you do for them? I'm a bookkeeper. How long have you been there? I've been there about two years now. The bond remains unchanged. Have a good day. Robinson, Blake Andrew Robinson. Blake Andrew Robinson. Victim is Penny Westfall. Don't call, don't visit, stay away from her. You understand that? Yes, sir. Criminal mischief. Conflict. Conflict attorney, madam. Possible to take a plea today? Yeah, we'll take a look at it, see what I said here. I want to help you. Anybody I can help, I try to help him. Yes, sir. You notice that? Yes, sir, Honor. You can help somebody, we help them, but you can't help everybody. Let's see what it says here. Stop the tire. Hmm, can't be hurting tires, sir. Tires have feelings too. You know that? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, it can't be hurting tires. Broke the windshield. Oh! Stop the tire, broke the windshield, kick and dented the driver's side. Hmm, throw away the keys to the car. Mrs. Penny Westfall. Actually, it was Cheyenne Woodring was the one that was driving the car around. I see. Miss Woodring gave a sworn statement that she witnessed Mr. Robinson doing the damage to the vehicle. You want to enter a plea today? Yes, sir. Just a minute, counsel. You want to enter a plea today? Yes, Your Honor, if it's possible. Definitely possible. She said if you give her 10000 to fix the car today, you can go home. I mean, that would, I'd have to do that when I get out, right? No, you got to do it before you get out. I'd have to make payments on that, right? You got to give her a lump sum, $10,000. She want a new tire. She need to replace the glass, all the metal Later that's on. dented. Yes, sir. Then you can go home, she said. That's what she said. Anyway, I find it probable cost to hold you. Yeah, your, bond, your bond's going to be $5,000 cash or surety. You got the money to pay for your own attorney? Yes, sir. Stay away from her and any po of her possessions, and stay away from Miss Woodring also. Miss Woodring and Penny Westfall. Stay away from both of them. You understand that? And their property. Do you understand that? Sure. Let's hear you now. You want to speak? Sure. I don't understand how they um, have probable cause to hold me. Because they never found me or anything on me or anything of mine at this crime of the scene. Here's what it says. Miss Woodring gave a sworn statement that she actually saw you doing this. Yes, Your Honor. But you figured it needs some DNA or something. Well, I didn't do it. Hmm? Well, I didn't do it. I know that. Oh, you're pleading not guilty. The bond is $5,000. Complete stay away from them and their property. You understand that? My bond got raised, Your Honor. Correct. Anything else? Yes, Your Honor. I'd ask. Sir, you keep talking to your bond. Not raise it, please. Have a seat. Shane Sneed. Which city you live in, sir? Uh, Melbourne. What type of work you do? Um, I do hurricane shutters, a repair. Repair? These are the electric ones. What type of what type of shutters you repair? Um, we do the accordion style, and then also the electric ones, like you were saying, with the remote. Which com company you work with? Um, I truthfully don't know. You don't know which company you work with? I think it's. I get mm. paid under the table, so. Hmm. You probably work for under the table company. There's a company like that. Hire a whole bunch of people. How long you been uh, doing this job? About two months. Hmm. Richard Blackburn, who advised you, was just involved in a physical altercation with his stepson, Shane Sneed, with whom he resides at Stort Place. Shane's mother, Jenna Blackburn, was yelling at Shane for staying out too late. Toward Jenna, Richard advised that he then stepped in and told Shane to relax, stop being disrespectful. Shane shoved Richard and the two began fighting. Hmm. 
find it probable cause to hold him. People are trying to calm you down. You got a good record. How old are you? 23. How long do you live in Brevard County? Um, this, this time, uh, just about seven, eight months. Where you live before that? Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. What you doing there? I was working for a tanning company. Tanning company? What do they do? Tan people. Tan people? What were you doing for them? I was the manager. Manager? Why you left the job and came here? Um, they were mistreating all of us, all, all the um, employees. I was working too much. Um, they kept promising us that we would get two days off a week. Um, different benefits, and I just, I was through. So, I came back down to be with my family. It ain't working out. Stay away from Richard Blackburn, stay away from your mom and your stepdad, both of them. You understand that? Yes, sir. Richard Blackburn, madam, and, um, Jenna. Jenna, um, Jenna Blackburn. No return to that location. No return to that location, no contact, don't call them, don't visit them. You understand that? You might have to go back in the tanning business. You have a good record. Yes, sir. Battery domestic violence, madam. I'll give him $500 cash or surety. Normally you get a much higher bond, but because of your good record, you're going to get a break. You understand that? Sir. Out of counts, probable cause to hold him bond remain and change. Georgia Ann Stewart. Yes, sir. Contempt of court, failure to serve form time, failure to appear at a hearing. What's your name? Georgia Stewart. Mm. Bond remains unchanged, public defender appointed. Have a seat. Walsh, John James Walsh. Hello, Judge. How you doing, Mr. Walsh? Good, you? Good to see you. You got uh, Melissa Pete as your attorney or not? Yes. Well retained, madam. Domestic violence, you got a bond. So you surrendered your bond. I can double it or put it back in the same old bond. I'm going to put you back on the same old bond. You understand that? I'm not going to double it. I can't reduce it. I can either leave it where it is or double it. I'm not going to double it since you're such a nice fellow. How about that? I don't want to double it. I just need a bond to get on with my life, Judge. You got bond. You got bond. Oh, thank you, Judge. I'm ready to get back on track. Well, I think you're going to do it. Got right, it. madam? You got bond, right? Yes, sir. I think you're going to do it. You got a fine attorney. Yes, she is. She's a nice girl. Top no. of the line. Good luck to you. We've got them all taken care of. We're... We'll everything everything is taken care of. Thank you, Judge. Appreciate it. You're back on track. You got it. Thank you. Have a good weekend. <clears throat> See, ladies, I got friends in places. I got friends. Michael Paul Zolman. Mr. Zolman, you got two cases, sir. Burglary of a conveyance, grand theft, dealing and trafficking in stolen property. Taking a look at your record now. Which city are you live in and how long? Right now? Yeah, right now. I'm in uh, Palm Bay with my mom. How long my you been there? How old are you? Over a month. Uh, pardon me? A little over a month, 44. My dad just passed and my mom's had two stints put in, so I've been... And your mom here. what? Had two stints put in her heart. I've been out here taking care of her. You have been taking care of her? Yes, my, yes sir. And I take care of three step, yes sir. I made a bad decision here, sir, and that is all. Sir, don't talk about the case. Oh. You got attempted burglary, burglary, burglary of habitation, prior arrest, attempted burglary, possession of stolen vehicle, burglary, grand larceny, dangerous weapon, tampering with evidence, outstanding warrant, reference burglary in Houston, Texas. They're going to come and get him? Outstanding parole violation, Austin, Texas. Looks like you've been making a bunch of bad decisions, my friend. I've never even been to Austin. Well, they got you here for Austin and Houston, both. They're going to come and get him, you know, madam? We don't have anything on that yet, Your Honor. <sighs> Mr. 
He made a bad mistake. He's taking care of his mom. Now, that was... well, tell me what are some of the things you do to take care of your mom? I go get her food. I cut her grass. I plant her flowers. I uh, go down there every morning, spend time with her, make sure she's all right. Take the ice tubes out of rice ice tray or ice things, put them in an the ice box and an ice container every morning because she's too weak to do it. I feed uh, her dogs. I mop her floors. God will bless you with take care of your mom. I got some news for you. It says, Dear Ms. Rosales reported numerous lawn equipment items that have been stolen from the back of a truck. Radnor Drive. Rosales runs a lawn equipment company. Rosales Creative Lawns. Company equipment was sitting in the bed of the company work truck. Stolen. Following day, Rosales provides blah, blah. After afternoon, Stanley Marole, a contact of Brevard County, trying to sell suspected stolen lawn equipment in Cocoa Beach. Palm Bay and Cocoa Beach is a little distance. Two chainsaws, one chainsaw, weed trimmer, plane view of the truck. He bought some landscaping equipment off an individual at a gas station. Backpack blur. Describe buying the equipment as a bad decision. All right, let's take a look at your case. Burglary of a conveyance, his bond will be $10,000 cash or surety. I'm doubling your bond. Grand theft, $5,000. All out of count, $5,000 remain unchanged. Burglary, $10,000. Count two, $5,000. Out of count, $5,000 remain unchanged. I find it a probable cause to hold them in each and every count. You got to stay away from Radnor Drive in Melbourne. You understand that? Yeah, I don't understand why my bonds got stolen. Because you stole people's stuff. Still nobody's stuff, sir. I bought the stuff. I didn't know it was stolen. Deputy. Deputy. Bring him back. I'm you got, sorry, sir. You got a problem with me? No, sir. Not at all. I don't... I'm just upset the charges. I really am. I'm just upset about charges. You got a record of stealing, my friend. You don't help you. Yeah, I know. I understand. But just sometimes you are, you are innocent. Sometimes you are innocent. You notice people with clean record, how many people I help, I reduce their bond. Did you notice that? I got to go according to your record. Now let me explain that every bond is temporary. It doesn't mean it's here forever. Your lawyer can petition the court to reduce your bond. Now right now your lawyer is told you don't speak. When your bond hearing comes, you, friends, family, mother, whoever you're taking care of, can come to court and speak on your behalf. Then the judge will review the bond. You understand that? So the bond is temporary, it's not permanent. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. Then one day we're going to get to hear from you or your mom or whoever you're helping. Then we'll take that into account. Today and that day. Okay. Judge, you doubled everything but the 2000 and then 5000 Correct. Okay. Count one and two is basically what I addressed. Mudhang, Kristen Marie Mudhang, file or ROR. Which city you live in? Hi, 
What's your name? Kristen Lenhank. Father Laura, what's at the stake? The state has filed charges, Judge. Got a copy of the information? I do. Give it to, make sure you pass it on to the defendant. She's entitled to a copy. She has it, Judge, and it's, uh, they filed as charged. All terms and conditions remain unchanged. Have a seat. Byron Bernard Weimer, filer ROR. Judge, I would waive his appearance. He's in outside court right now. What did you do? State. State file. All terms and conditions remain unchanged. Judge, uh, we've got one change charge, though. Let's hear you. Uh, count one. Burglary of a conveyance. Is now armed burglary of a dwelling. It went from a first degree felony to a felony PBL. You got no bond in that. That correct? Well, that's the one we need a bond on. One hundred thousand dollars cash or surety. How about all these other matters? Aggravated battery. I just got no bond and all of that. Well, one of them's got no bond. The others have all bonds already. All right. We have addressed all matters, then, Madam Clerk. We want to leave any matters unaddressed. We had one battery domestic violence that was filed, and there were two charges of originally of battery domestic violence. One was just charges of simple battery, battery, but it's the same level offense. And they all have bonds? Yes, sir. Okay, so only count one didn't have a bond? Yes, sir. We addressed that, 100,000. You got that, Madam Clerk? Yes, but your aggravated batteries, all those were still there at no bond. Correct. I did, okay. They, they came I just in want to make way. sure that you, okay, yes. thank you. Osteen, John Clayton Osteen. Violation of provision, they said you had, this is a council review. You have the money to pay for an attorney? Oh, sir. Can you afford an attorney? Oh, did he sir. fill out the paperwork, Mr. Kennedy? He did, Judge. Does he qualify? I believe yes. he does. We're going to appoint a public defender to represent you, my friend. Thank you, Your Good luck to you. Deloach, Jamie Lamar Deloach. Mr. Deloach, you got a retail theft charge, felony matter, and you got a VOP. The judge said you violated it, you got no bond. You understand that? Oh, yes, sir. I wish I can help you out and change that bond, but I can't. You look like a nice fellow to me. Yes, I have a question to you. Definitely, anything I can do to help you. Yes, um, on my probation, my uh, probation officer told me I completed everything. I only had one payment left. Mm. I'm at the end of my probation, and I have like one payment left. It doesn't sound fair that just when you were at the, uh, about to leave the door, they try to do something to you. It just don't sound fair, does it? Uh, just, you know. Hopefully you can work this out with them, and um, they can bring this probation and close it out behind you. I can understand that. I mean, if you're just about to close this probation, and then they violate you, I mean, it's, that hurts. I wish I can help you, but you keep keep in mind I don't know anything about your case. But I can assure you, when you come before the judge, you're gonna get a fair shake, sir, because we respect you. You understand that? I can't get a bond. On I cannot do that. I cannot change a bond set by another felony judge. Okay. If I could, I would. Sorry. How long you live in Brevard County? Uh, actually, I live um, in Polk County. In I Polk County, what brought you all the way over here? I had my probation switched from um, here to there. I see. That's where I live. I moved with my wife there. Good luck to you. I wish I could help you more. Let me get your pages for a second. I think I misunderstood something. I'm sorry. What? What number? Um, 41. These all stay the same, correct? These all stay unchanged. Just address count one and count two. Thank you. I just want to count one is uh, doubled and count two is doubled. Correct. Okay, thank you. Let me make sure I have that. We're here to work together. Next matter, then, I have is just take care of Mr. Deloach Green. Judge. Sean Tavis Devon Green. Let's hear from Mr. Kennedy. Judge, Mr. Green is a juvenile. The deputy said they'll bring him in after we handle the Okay, adults. so we're going to pass on that. We've got two juveniles on today's record. Okay. Our 
to Sean Davis Green, who took care of Hansen. Next would be Melissa Moore. Melissa Moore. Melissa Moore. Uh, how about Brian Hyman? Charity Bond. Charity Melissa Marie Moore. That's you, madam? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Which city do you live in? Melbourne. How many I'm, years? Um, all my life. What type of work do you do? Um, I was working in a sales place called JMS. What were you selling? Um, they sell magazines. What type of magazines? Like any kind of magazines. Like golf, sports. What was your, what was your favorite magazine that people were buying? Like gossip magazines like People. ESPN. You had a grand theft 65 year old or older, fraudulent use of a credit card and they placed you on probation. They said you're violating your probation and put you at no bond. Yeah, but it says no bond till first appearance. So can you give me a bond? Look, it says it right here on my paper. And I'm at first appearance. So can you give me a bond, please? What says the state? Look, right here. It says the jail stamp. That's not it. What does it want? No bond? Why does it no bond? But it doesn't say hold. It doesn't say in my paperwork called like it usually does, so can I have a bond, please? I will take a look at it. Thank you. Try to help people out if we can. I'm trying to look at your record. I think there's a warrant here on if you want to see Pardon me? I have a warrant if you want to see it. I had a chance to look at it. You got no bond, madam. Good luck to you. Okay, when's my next court date? Give her a next court date. I got you for July 6th. Just after the July 4th weekend, your case is coming up. Okay, thank you. Musgrove, Tony Terrell Musgrove. How are you, sir? Which city you live in? Titusville, Florida. How old are you? Seven. You don't have such a bad record. No, sir. Lived here all your life? Uh, partial, sir. Where do you live for the rest of the time? Um, I'm originally from Melbourne, but I moved to Jacksonville when I was like 12, and I came back when I was 20. Mm. I'm looking at your record. Normally when we have this kind of charge, we see a lot of drug charges. I don't see any drug charges on your record. Am I missing something, Mr. Kennedy? No, sir. You're entering into a dangerous zone. I understand, sir. I can't hear you. I'm more abusing than you Huh? Don't, don't respond to that, sir. You're entering the danger zone. You have a clean drug record. Now you're messing it up. Find it probable cause to hold him in each and every count. Count one, the bond will be one thousand dollars. Count no, I'm going dealing with count by count. Count one, one thousand. Count two, one thousand. Count three, five hundred. Count four, two fifty. Count three, two fifty. Thank you, sir. You got a clean record, you're trying to mess it up. I've considered your record with drugs, and I'm, I've given you a break on this bond. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. In fact, count two, madam. I'm going to put it 500 also. Count one, 1,000. Count two, 500. Count three, 500. And 250 and 250. Thank you, sir. Don't go down this road. I won't. First and last time you've ever seen me. You go down this road, you can't get out. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Have a seat. The record is saving you this time. Phillips, Jason James Phillips. Your Honor, that's the other juvenile we're saving until the end. Okay. And, madam, direct file matter, we got Rue Hoffer, Hunter Rue Hoffer. Accepting it, sir. Charge of domestic violence, sir. Which city you live in and how long? Merritt Island, eight years. You got a battery in 07 that was dropped. 
Rebecca Ruha for your wife. Don't call, don't visit, don't have anything to do with her. You understand that? Yes, sir. Complete stay away. Um, can I make this, uh... Hmm. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, my wife, she has a home in Jero Beach that's solely in her name. And I have a home solely here in my name. And I have a dependent, one son. <clears throat> and, um... Uh, having no contact from this house would be very difficult. But we do have a secondary house for that belongs to her. Said you had a verbal argument, you all had too many drinks, and you threw her to the ground. Uh, Sir, don't respond to that. Find it probable cause to hold him. Don't call, don't visit, don't have anything to do with her. You understand that? Yes, sir. What type of work do you do? I'm retired. From what? Uh, I was in construction. And he intends to hire a company, too. You're going to get your own attorney? Yes, sir. Have you consulted anyone? Not yet, sir. The bond's going to be $500 cash or surety. Complete stay away. You may return once to get to necessary possessions. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. You're getting a low bond on account of your record. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. $500. Anything else?